Hey, what's up? This is Jared with The Daily App Show. Today we're going to take a look at My Eyes Only Contacts, which allows you to privately and securely store contacts on your iPhone, your iPod Touch. So we have a password that I've set, a super secure one, one, two, three, four, uh, to enter into the application. I can also have a hint option right here, and then a recovery password question uh, that I'll show you how to set up in a second. So let's hit go and enter the application. So under contacts here we have our contact. I've went ahead and imported a contact from my regular contacts in my phone. I can do that by tapping that button right here. I can go into my phone contacts and find a contact phone number to add to the list. So I'm gonna go ahead and add one of those I tapped right here, it brought in all of the information, went ahead and added it for me. Let's hit save. And then it gives me the option to remove it from my contacts on my phone, because obviously the contacts on my phone isn't password protected, only the contacts inside this application. I'm gonna go ahead and say keep because I don't really wanna delete that contact. So now I have two contacts in here which I can access their information in its entirety uh, just like I would normally. I can even copy and paste that information out of here. I can tap on edit and edit that information. Um, very easy, very easy to use. So let's go back to contacts. The top right button right here allows me to go and manually enter a contact information just by typing in all of the details. And it does give me uh, a lot of fields for additional information as well. Once I have a pretty long, lengthy list, I can use the search feature to find any contact that I would like. This feature, Archive, allows you to archive your information on your Mac or your PC. So you have to go to uh, their website and download the application, and then you can back up. So let me show you how that works. I went ahead and installed it on my computer. It gives me these options here to merge from another device, restore from a backup, or back up my information. So I'll go ahead and do that. Very quickly, it went ahead and did that. I have the application running on my Mac right now, which is connected to the same Wi-Fi network as my phone here. And so what's nice about this is if anything happened to my, my phone, uh, I can just simply reinstall this application, uh, fire up the application on my Mac, and then restore from a backup. So that's very cool. Or I can merge from another device that happens to be connected to the same network as me as well. We have some basic settings. There are other applications by this developer. Uh, you may remember that we, take, we took a look at a photo application of theirs. Um, and of course, the archiving works with those applications as well. In our password settings, we could change our password by going ahead and typing that in here uh, and setting a new password. And then, of course, uh, we can go and edit our hint and everything as well. So now we can enter in a new password. We confirm it. What's our password hint? What's our password recovery question? And then what's the answer that we get? Go back to settings. Configure fields. We can set the fields that show up in here or turn them off. Perhaps maybe we don't need the homepage URL. We could turn that off so that we don't have to see that field. Then we can also import settings as well. So this is a great application to use if you need to keep some of those details private. Um, now maybe perhaps uh, you could do that for many different reasons, but I could think of uh, perhaps wanting to keep the details of my clients in a protected area. Of course I could set a password on my phone, but of course, that isn't always foolproof. So having an application like this allows you to keep everything secure and private. So definitely check it out in the App Store. I think you're going to like My Eyes Only Contacts. Take care, and we'll see you next time on The Daily App Show.